Hey everybody, welcome back. So in my last video review of the Filicube HT PLA Plus filament, a number of you mentioned that I should have annealed it because that is what, um, that's what it was designed to, to be. It was designed to get its best strength once it's annealed. And some of you people even, some, some of you people even um, went as far as to explain to me what annealing is. And um, I assure you I know what annealing is. I spent years in the metal trades. Anyway, so let's try that. So, I have the box here, and the box even says what the annealing temperature is. Now, I've read of numerous different ways to anneal your printed parts. Um, I think, um, I think Filicube themselves says to get your big electric oven, heat it up to the temperature, turn it off, then put the parts in, and let the, um, and let it cool down naturally. Well, there's a problem. We just remodeled our kitchen. We have a brand new oven, and I'm not putting plastic parts in it. And we got rid of our toaster oven because it was an old beat up one when we did the remodel, and we, um, we never got another one. But I happen to have this. This is a miniature convection oven, otherwise known as an air fryer. So, they say right on the um, box here that the annealing temperature is 80 to 130. Let's go right in the middle. 105 or 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So, can you see that in the video? Let's, um, first off, let's put them in there. And I have four parts here to do. I have these two have a four millimeter thick top. And these two have a three millimeter thick top, and that's why they're marked three. And I have marked two with an X on the inside. Can you see the X on the inside? And um, those are the two I'm going to anneal. I'm going to put them on top of the little wire rack like that. Let's put them in. And I'm assuming that if we go to temperature and let it cool down normally, then we'll be okay. So um, let's, so we're going to go to 220. Two fifteen to twenty. Let's go time. Five minutes should be enough to bring it up to temperature, don't you think? And let's go. So I'm going to skip forward here right now and not make you sit through the whole five minutes. And then we'll take them out in the garage and see if we can bust them and see if there's a difference. Okay, for those of you familiar with air fryers, you will know that when the time finally counts down to zero, it turns the heating element off and it keeps the fan on for about another, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute just to cool itself off. So when the timer goes off, I am going to pull the plug on it and then let it cool down naturally. And yes, I know, HT PLA Plus, the HT part is high temperature. The annealing is designed to make it withstand high temperature better, not necessarily impacts, but I'm doing impact testing right now, not temperature and deflection testing, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm plugging it now. Okay, so it is now off. It is still 220 degrees inside, and I'm going to let it sit for half an hour or so, an hour, and let it cool down. Okay, so here we are at the El Destructo machine. I'm going to start with the one, I don't know if you can see it, I'm zoomed way in. This one says 4 on it, has no X in the middle, so this is 4 millimeters thick and um, is not heat treated. So let's see if I can break it. And there, that's the reason I made, I made some at 3 because this may be so tough, and I'm going to have to adjust the position of this. Hang on with me momentarily, and I will, um, I'll get that fixed. There we go. It's the reason I made a 3, because I'm thinking PLA Plus may be so tough, I may not be able to break it, but let's see. And I didn't bring my counter, so you guys are going to have to count for me. That was one... Two, three, did that break it? Oh, 
Broke through at three. Can you see that? Broke through at three. Let's um let's give it a couple more, see how many it takes to go to total destruction. Heck, this isn't even as good as some of the PLA I did. Alright, here we go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'd say we could call that pretty much total destruction there at seven. What do you think? It smashed it all the way out and smashed it all the way out there. It's got all the way, it smashed, oh, it smashed all the way out to the bottom. So yeah, I'm willing to call that total destruction. What was that, seven? Let's try the heat treated one. Here we go. Here is four, number four, and the X to show it was in the oven. Let's see what we get. See if that makes it any more resistant to impact. That was um, that was a piece of the old one that went flying. So that's one. on it yet. Four, five, six, seven, still no breaks. How many should I go? Ten? Nine? And ten. That was ten. Are we still in? I'm still in the frame. What do you know? Okay. That was ten, and there is no damage to it at all. Okay, here we go with the last ones for this time. Here's the ones from the last time. Let's get those out of the way. Here's the two new ones. It's a hot day in Arizona, so I think it's had enough time to cool the rest of the way down. I should probably move my coffee over to a bench where I'm not going to be dropping heavy objects on. I mean, not that I already haven't spilled it on myself once, but um, let's um, zoom in. Alrighty then, and um, let's start with the one I haven't heat treated. This one has no X on the inside of it. This is the one I heat treated. It's got the X. We'll put that one there for now. Alright, here we go. Guys, count for me, okay? One. I told you to count, and I'm counting too. Two. Nice one, they don't bounce out. Three. Oh, that sounded bad. Okay. Three broke through it. When you see that? Broke through both sides. Let's give it a couple more, but that's pretty much what the unheat treated one did. Yeah, and a chunk even fell out of them. Chunks are even falling out of it. Let's give it a couple more for fun. Let's go to five. That was three. Four. Five. All right, we're broke through to where we're seeing daylight through it. 
so that is completely broken through all right here we go heat treated one still slightly warm and yes I know this isn't scientific so for God's sakes don't write you're not scientific in the in the comments or do I don't know it's always funny to see it one ah crap pause while I get it back Okay, that sucked, but I did retrieve it. One did no damage to it. Two. Two did no damage. Three. Three did no damage. Four. Four did no damage. When it bounces, it usually doesn't do any damage. It's when it goes down and just stops stone dead, that's when there's usually a hole in it. Four. Not seeing any damage at four either. Ah, come on. Shall we go to 10? The other one broke out at what? 3? Let's go to 10. 4. Nothing. 5. Still not seeing any damage. Nothing. Seven. No damage. I'm still in the frame. I am kind of, sort of. Let me fix that a little bit. There we go. What was that? Seven. Eight. Not seeing any damage. and 10 okay there we go that's 10 and there is still no damage to it anywhere that I can see maybe you can see better than me with the camera but I certainly don't see any damage at all so there you have it heat treating the Philcube HT PLA plus does seem to absolutely make it considerably more impact resistant. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and hit notifications. And um, I will catch you the next time I feel like breaking something. Bye for now.